My name is Leo Cervantes, owner of Chilangos Restaurant. Uh, we've been here in business uh, 12 years now. Beautiful, nice, beautiful town. I love it. Um, we've created something like uh, people talk about, you know, small place, uh, sits uh, 65 people. Um, it's just something very, very amazing how people talk about it. They come in, it's like a big family, people are hugging and kissing. Uh, it's such a great experience for me as owner, having everybody, everyone that comes here, talking about that hospitality that we, that we give to people, that we present at this place. Uh, besides the fact, you know, the food, uh, we have the largest selection of tequilas on the East Coast, 275 different tequilas in the house. Unbelievable, amazing tequilas. Different prices, 5, 10, 15, 20, 40, 50, 80, 90. 100 and 120 dollars shots of tequila. Uh, our margarita selection, uh, a mango, strawberry, I mean all kinds of flavors, tropical, fresh fruit, cucumber, people love our cucumber margaritas. Uh, the food, very authentic, original. I'm from Mexico City. Uh, a lot of people don't know the difference between southern, central, northern Mexico. Uh, 32 states in Mexico, diverse, a lot of food all over the place, different uh, corn, flour, seafood, uh, chicken, steak, forget it, uh, amazing. Uh, I have a lot of creations of mine in this place, uh, Perfecta Quesadilla, uh, Chilangos, Mexican Mofongo, I can talk to you about so many dishes that we have and that people just love. We have people that drive two, three hours to come to Chilangos. All of a sudden, Chilangos became a destination. I remember when we first opened, uh, you know, it took me like three years to, to develop the business. It was very difficult. First Mexican restaurant around this area. And boy, it was very, very difficult. Uh, today, we don't have to advertise. We don't do anything other than open the door and start kissing and hugging people. It used to be in Mexico that if you came from somewhere else into the city, that, that was the people that used to be called Chilangos, the ones migrated into the city. Today, if you are from the city, you, are, you get to be a Chilangos. You know, I was born in Mexico City, raised outside on the skirts of the city, very poor town, you know, garbage dump across the street from where we lived, cardboard roof house, no floor, no food, no shoes. Uh, you know, we started working, I was ever since I was nine years old, selling ice cream on the streets, bread, you know, survival. I call it the jungle, I come from the jungle. And uh, I came to the United States when I was 19 years old, spoke no English, I'm not 100% fluent, but a lot better than when I, when I came 24 years ago. Prior to me coming to, me to the US, uh, in Mexico was my mom, my mom's cooking, I would love, I would enjoy. You get to participate, you know, in the kitchen, helping out, prepping. Uh, but really, 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 I got the, the, the interest of uh, cooking when I came to the U.S. It's, it's amazing how, you know, the word is spread. Chilango, Chilango. I could be driving on the parkway. I could, I could be driving on the turnpike. And people would be beeping the horn saying, hello, Chilango is the best, you know. That kind of stuff, which makes me very, very happy. See, Chilango's... Um, Chilango is different. I, I, I always hear comments, you know, obviously the people that come here, they love us, they love our food, uh, the staff and everybody. But they always say, man, you guys are the best. I, I don't know, I think that uh, we are different. We really care about people. The food is different. And I don't believe that, that we're the best. I, I think that we're just different. That's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be making a, a, one of our famous dishes, Chilangos Mexican Paella. Sounds great. Right. Uh, the ingredients that we, do, that we need to create our Chilangos Paella, rice, cilantro, tomato, jalapeno pepper, chorizo, Lobster, shrimp, mussels, uh, scallops, clams, and chicken. That's exactly what we're going to put together right now. And we're going to show you how to do it right now.
sure you wash the bread. Masso. Then the shrimp is the last thing you have. You want to add to taste. Two minutes to cook. We're gonna throw our shrimp and our scallop. Uh, cumin and a little bit of salt. And a small pinch of oregano. And you're gonna add it right here. Yellow and white wine. Cilantro. Rice. with it. Black beans. Look at that. This paella takes like really five minutes when you have no right foot. Fresh tomato. Chilangos next to the Highlands, it's, it's a place. To me, it's a very, very special place, small town. Um, I know everybody in town, or almost everybody, everyone knows me because of the restaurant. It's, to me, it's a special place. It's a magical town where you have everything, a little bit of everything. You have access to New York City, uh, uh, Pennsylvania. You can go anywhere. You have the water, you have parks, you have uh, a lot of nice restaurants. Uh, the people itself is very friendly. And to be honest with you, I think that this is my, my, my home. This is home to me. I love Haida.